SMT Nation, we back. Nation, we've got an amazing set of data from Ookla. I just want to go over this uh, real quick topic with you guys here today on fixed wireless access and how the urban versus rural story and this huge discrepancy between them, which sounds crazy. You would think that, you know, 5G home internet would really take off in fixed wireless uh, in the rural setting. But really, <laughs> the urban is the place to be for fixed wireless as crazy as it sounds because we know that urban areas typically have the best wireline options usually but anyways i want to cover all that talk about some of the factors of what's at play here why this data is the way it is uh, i'll go ahead and link this article press release and data from ookla it'll be in the description and ways to support the smt can be found in the description box as well all right so for starters kind of what's going on here right fixed wireless access 5g home internet t-mobile verizon they both sell it. They both offer it. AT&T now gets in the fold, but they haven't really scaled it. So they're out of this data set. Uh, but with respect to, you know, the N41 5G UC piece from T-Mobile, shout out to C-Band for Verizon, huge difference maker. Home internet for folks, a new competitor to the market, really disrupting wireline services. Shout out to C-Band and the whole shebang. Anyways, what's going on with speeds, right? Speeds really is you know, it's a, it's a metric of capacity, right? The more capacity you have on a network, the more speed you have, which means you can afford to connect more devices on the network. Sometimes that's, you know, in the case of mobile, mobile handsets, but now we got 5G home internet customers too. So how are the speeds? Let's take a look here. Picture it on your screen. You will see that Verizon's fixed wireless access service, which is annotated there in that orangish red color, right? You will speed the data, uh, data speeds uh q3 2023 in the urban setting 155 megabits per second for t-mobile it's at 141 all right so let's talk about that right why is verizon faring so much better in the urban with speed than t-mobile well there's a few factors number one small cell deployment number two millimeter wave number three 10 gig fiber circuits and number four the urban core mobile data service lines. T-Mobile's kind of at a disadvantage in that respect, right? They have a lot of customers in the urban core, right? So they got more mobile users on the network. That means less speed because more of it is shared. It's a shared resource. The second piece we talked about there, the 10 gig fiber circuit. Verizon owns, runs them, maintains them in these cities in the urban core. That's what you're seeing here, folks. Those are the main factors. And don't forget about the millimeter wave. Right, that is a difference maker. The CRAN, the small cells, these are difference makers. That's what's separating those two companies. And that discrepancy is only going to get larger. Right, you're going to see the Verizon network probably increase speeds sequentially, quarter over quarter and year over year. T-Mobile is going to have to scale those upgrades. They're going to have to increase fiber circuit capacity. You're going to have to densify in order to keep up with the demand. Right. So even though, you know that. <laughs> there, that's that's what the data tells us. All right, now I want to take a look at the rural piece. You will see that based on the data, Verizon is actually slower than T-Mobile by a lot in the rural setting. What's the story there? Well, it's 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 pretty much a story of scale. T-Mobile's been building out their 5G UC N41 for three years, almost four years, right? So this allows them to, you know, have a jump start with respect to that speed metric. Verizon lagging. They got to get more C-band built out there. They've got a lot of tower sites to upgrade. And I think that's what's manifesting itself there. Now, a year from now, what do I think is going to be the case? Well, I would say that Verizon's probably going to double that speed, if not triple it. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Number one, fiber circuits. I trust that Verizon will probably upgrade to higher capacity grade circuits. That's going to increase potential throughput. I think also additionally, they're going to add more tower sites right? And they're going to upgrade more sites to C-band. I think those are all factors. Don't forget about the CBRS piece that Verizon also does, right? So that's in play as well. That's, that's spectrum for the download that, you know, we can't, can't forget about that. And I think also, you know, the fact that Verizon said they would build capacity on demand, right? So T-Mobile says that they, you know, they only sell access capa excess capacity, right? They're, they're not, they're going to do a capital light. They're not going to invest in 5G home internet. So I expect very possibly 
If the speed doesn't decrease, I think T-Mobile will at least just stay flat in both of these settings, the urban and the rural. And until we see a dedicated, you know, CRAN small cell deployment from T-Mobile, the urban is in trouble, right? And then the rural, I think it's going to stay flat personally. And I think Verizon is going to increase their speed substantially. Guys, Verizon has 200 megahertz of C-band dedicated in a lot of these rural places. That's huge. You put that with a 10 gig fiber circuit, it's on like Donkey Kong, right? So these are huge numbers to look to see what happens in the future. Tell me what you guys think, actually. I'm curious because I'm looking at some of these numbers. You know, you, you'll see like 5G fixed wireless for Verizon, 181 megabits in Nebraska, 160 in Colorado, 150 megabits in Kansas. A year from now, those speeds are going to be a lot faster. You see what I'm saying? Uploads, you know, the densification process will probably help that. The fiber circuit, you know, upgrades. A lot of this stuff is going to get better. My only fear is in the urban setting. I, I'm a little worried about T-Mobile. I am. I will tell you guys the truth. I'm a little worried, you know, reducing CapEx and, and not owning their own fiber kind of puts them at a disadvantage there. But I think rural, they'll be okay for a while just because of the but they but they will have growth guys they're they're adding mobile share in rural and they're also adding fixed wireless customers it's there there's a version of this where t-mobile slows down in the rural setting absolutely what do you guys think is the most likely outcome tell me between verizon and t-mobile in the urban and then verizon and t-mobile in the rural what do you think is going to happen in both those scenarios in the future moving forward will they both get faster will they both get slower who do you think is going to be at the biggest disadvantage or has the greatest advantage? Sound off in the comment section below. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation. Let your voice be heard.